It's time now for the most confusing segment in all of sports must win. The rules are a delicate dance of the literal and figurative. And honestly, while I usually use this time as an explainer of sorts, this is a segment you have to parse all on your own. High stakes tonight, and we start with Brew's Clippers headed to Sacramento. They've won four in a row, but no Kawhi tonight, Brew, while the Kings are trying to claw their way out of the play in. Play in. So, Brew, must win? It'd be a nice win, but no. For who? Who? Well, there you go. Um, the Clippers. <laughs> <laughs> the Clippers. All right. Clippers, not a must win. They've won three straight. Got a little moment. I know they haven't been great teams, although they beat Orlando. Um, this is the fourth game on a road, four game road trip. Mm -hmm. They, I don't, the NBA kind of did them dirty. They just played in Charlotte, had to fly all the way to Sacramento, and now they're playing the Kings, and Kawhi's out. So I'm just being realistic. It'd be a nice win for them to get, but not a must win. I know so, the standing good. situation, that's but that's where I'm at. So it is not a must win for the Clippers. It is a must win for the Kings because now that Kawhi's out, you're trying to hold off the Lakers. You don't nobody. You don't want to drop to that nine line. The Lakers desperately trying to get out of that nine line, and the Kings right now are in a you know basically tied with the Suns. They're both a couple losses ahead of the Lakers, and now all of a sudden Sacramento gets the Clippers with no Kawhi. This is a game they've got to win. So it's yes, it's a must win. For the Kings, no, because the Clippers are basically fine where they are. They're not going to fall to the plane, and they're obviously not going to move above the four line at the highest. Not a must win at all for the Clippers. Okay. Brews up one nothing. Why? <laughs> must win. <laughs> Luka headed to Golden State tonight. Uh, Mavs looking for their eighth straight win. Warriors still in tenth, but now have a two-game cushion over the frisky Rockets. So, Brew, must win. I'm going to say for Dallas, it's a must win. Here's why. One, if Luka really wants to get in the MVP conversation, then they got to get 50 wins, all right? And they got to get close to Denver in the win because that's his biggest competition, obviously, is Jokic. All right, they're also trying to get home court advantage in the first round at their fourth seed. So this is a big game for them. For the Warriors, I mean – Oh, no, no. Okay. They got a two-game lead on Houston, yeah. but they, it's close. I, I was, I was tempted to say yes. Uh, but Brew, did you not know we were doing this before the show? Yeah, yeah. No, just, no, I know, but I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Suspense okay. going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, I kind of, in the future we might have to like go back and forth on who gets to go first because Brew goes first each time, and as <laughs> oddly he nailed that exactly correct. Okay, perfect. So this, so because it is so oddly, so why it is a do that every hundred percent yeah, must move win we can move on. for Luca's MVP case. It. And okay, I mean you said he nailed it hundred percent. Yeah, I mean so I we can move on. Yeah, it's fine. I mean he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Save it, but you'll give me extra time here. Okay, let, good, let Nick go no, first. No, this is his guy. We're doing this one for you. You're going to go first all three. It's an outrage. This is all the reason we're doing this. That is game. my guy. It's, I, I, it, you. it's written in the bylaws I have to go first on Wimby Top. Yeah. yeah. The Nuggets are currently half game behind the Thunder. The Spurs are 34 and a half back. Wemby looking to build his case for defensive player of the year. Brew, must win? Well, San Antonio, there's no must wins at this point. But Denver, yes, an absolute must win. They're chasing the Thunder. They're trying to hold off the T-Wolves. Must win. Okay. Good. So, I actually – Nothing on Wemby there. I think – Right. I mean the, – Okay, well, I'm only going to talk about Wemby here because I think that's the only reason this game's interesting. The only reason this game's interesting is if Wemby wants a real shot at Defensive Player of the Year – He's got to have some big moments against Jokic. Oh. So the, the Spurs have played, or Wimby's played Jokic twice in his career, twice this year. Jokic in those games is 35, 9, and 7 on like 62%, okay. while Wimby is 19 and 10, which is fine, but on just 38%. What you, I think that you could have a real groundswell of, you know what? Win Binyama deserves more accolades this year than just rookie of the year. Something so I think there will I think people are gonna struggle with an all NBA placement brew because the team's yeah. so bad. Mm -hmm. But would they if he if all of a sudden Joker has some moments where he looks flustered, 
Could that be enough to where Wimby has an actual shot at stealing Defensive Player of the Year from either Rudy or like AD? That. So in that it's regard, Drew, I think that it's less about if the Spurs win and more about if Wimby can hold Jokic down a bit or make him look frustrated. I would like to see Wimby, and I know today with cross matches and picks and all that, but I'd like to see Wimby say, give me Jokic. Give me Jokic. Do you, do you, think, what he does? you know how you have like a Heisman moment? Do you think it would be more important if Wemby had a few big moments, big rejections, or like eye-popping stuff, or just like quietly made it difficult for Joker? That's but no great, real like standout. That's a great moment. question. Because what would be more impressive if this if is if he quietly made it tough on right. Joker, like right? Rui. But but people, <laughs> <laughs> but I think for you know people just see the highlights, they just see the clips on Twitter. Like punching. For them, it hands. might right. For them, it might matter more a couple of blocks. Even if Jokic has twenty nine right. in a triple double, Correct. but he has Wimbanyama has two if impressive Wim, blocks. If Wimby against. has like a you know pins him against the backboard Ooh. once, and then once when yep. Jokic is trying to do his stuff, you know at the steals elbow it or steals it and dr- you know what I mean. Well, like fast that. break. I think that could be big for Wimby. I count steals and fast breaks as a defensive play. Well, yeah, the steal is no, but and the dunk. Oh yeah, the Just fast feels break. Like, is, feel, is part are of you the aware of stocks? I, <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.